All right, here are five things you know to get your day started. A woman is dead. Three others are injured after the mast of a popular schooner snapped. This happened right off the coast of Rockland on a vessel called the Grace Bailey. Not clear yet how and why that mast failed. Officials from the Coast Guard and the Maine Marine Patrol are still investigating. Police in Lisbon Falls are sharing some more information after a shooting there last Friday. Firefighters say they heard a woman scream on that day. When they responded, they saw a man step out of a vehicle and shoot himself in the head. The Department of Public Safety now says that that man, Benjamin Peterson, died on Friday night and a woman named Kylie Turcott was found dead in the vehicle that day as well. Her death also has been ruled a homicide. A former official at two main prisons is expected to be in court today. Gerald Merrill facing theft and bribery charges. He's accused of using state funds to purchase products from certain vendors in exchange for illegal kickback payments. He was arrested back in July and at the time he served as deputy superintendent of prisons in Charleston and Machiasport. Riders on the Amtrak Down Easter may see your ticket prices go up for the first time in five years. Reps for the Northern New England Passenger Rail Authority say that they are requesting rate increases between $2 and $12, depending on the type of ticket you get. There's a meeting later this month to decide whether or not to approve the increases. If they are approved, the changes would go into effect on November 1st. And the wait time for getting a U.S. passport is slowly starting to go down. The State Department says applications will now take about 8 to 11 weeks to process. That's about two weeks shorter than it was just earlier this year. The department still encourages travelers to plan ahead, check the expiration date on your current passport, and in general, pretty smart to renew your passport maybe six to nine months before it actually expires. Fine, I'll check out the weather this Tuesday. All right, there it is. The rest of your week, temperatures basically right around 60 for highs. In the overnights, it'll be in the 40s and even some 30s. There'll be some sun, but also a lot of cloud cover, but very little rain until perhaps the weekend. We're keeping an eye on a larger storm system that'll be impacting New England. The question is, does the rain get into northern New England or does it stay in southern New England? So we'll be watching that the rest of the week. Friday looks nice. Why don't you take the day off, Lee? <laughs> oh, can I? Sure. All right. Wow. Yeah, it's not, well, I'm winning Megabucks tomorrow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Know.